Spoiler alert! I'm about to show you all the first quest from Hero Quest, the trial. So if you want to, you know, save yourself from uh, all the surprises and not having spoilers, please don't continue this video. But with this series, you will be able to build all the Hero Quest board, guys. And this system allows you to create whatever dungeon you want. So buckle up and uh, let's go! Before start, let me spend 30 seconds on the sponsor of this video, Into the AM. I know I look very cool with these t-shirts and uh, this is just one of my favorite ones. They are very cool guys, they have uh, very high quality stuff. I feel very comfortable in one of these and this is one of my favorite designs actually. If you want to buy one of these, follow the links in the description box below. In this way you can help the channel, also you will uh, look cool doing it. The material is uh, very, very, you know, well printed. It's not some cheap stuff. It's very, very comfortable and warm. The coolest way to be a crafter. Thanks to Into The AM for sponsoring this video and for uh, letting me feel very cool with this uh, beautiful t-shirt. You can buy one of these by following the link in the description box below. If you do that, you will also have the channel looking cool doing that. Check it out, okay? Back to the video. Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Max DM Crafting. This is Hero Quest time, guys. An awesome Hero Quest time. This is the new vibrant colored board of Hero Quest, guys. And in this episode, we are gonna create the first quest on 3D version. We are crafting it tile by tile, room by room. This is an astonishing room by room crafting tiles episode, guys. I've chosen the trial because uh, the trial, in my opinion, is one of the most complete and lethal, you know, adventure of Hero Quest. You have a lot of furniture, a lot of different ambience, and create a room by room crafting journey with this adventure, it's a lot of fun. We will uh, explore room by room the trial, guys, and we will create, thank you to the fusion tile system, a beautiful dungeon. I apply this technique with Hero Quest, but you can create your own dungeon with the same technique. I want to say thank you to Alexander Penner from Dungeon of Fits, because finally we have our laser cut file for create the fusion tile system in MDF, guys. But remember, all this that you are seeing now in MDF, you can recreate with simple cardboard. This is an MDF universal piece, guys. Universal piece is, uh, uh, you know, something that uh, represents the fusion tile system. But I will provide you with the measurements for create your own universal pieces with chipboard. This is a three millimeter thick, uh, graphics medium chipboard and actually you can create the same pieces just with some chipboard. Grab your exacto knife, grab your foam and uh, follow me in this epic adventure. Welcome to Hero Quest: The Trial. Crack on! Thanks to the laser cutter, now I have five sheets guys like this one. These are all the pieces that I need for create an HeroQuest board with my Fusion Tile system. This will uh, allow me to speed up the process, but remember, you can create tile by tile following these tutorials your own HeroQuest dungeon. So let's start together. I will just pop out the pieces that I need from my sheets, and uh, then I will start craft the first room. And the first one is indeed a 4x4 tile. Let's start. Thank you. 
The first room has a spiral staircase that is actually taking two by two inches squares in the room. Then we have a closed door, of course. Now, I have a lot of tutorials, okay, in this channel that you can follow for creating your own alchemy desk, your own armory rack, your own altar, some tables and stuff, also some tombs. Also the fireplace that we have here, the library, the wardrobe, the chests. So basically in my channel you have all that you need for create your furniture. In this tutorial we will just grab the original pieces and I will start painting them for have the you know finished dungeon with all the finished furniture. Then also I will paint some miniatures but I don't know if we'll, uh, I will show you this already in this tutorial. But for now, let's concentrate us in the first room. I have also a tutorial for the spiral staircase in HeroQuest, but this time I want to create just one new. So four by four room, yeah, tiles with the staircase and a closed door. As you can see, this uh, MDF uh, fusion tile piece is uh, provided with some uh, connection pieces. I will just pop out these pieces because they are useful outside. This central part, you can left it with the inner pieces for increase the weight. But in this case, I will just use the empty room like this. We need some foam to glue on it. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna use the universal piece as reference. It's very important to have the straight angle. Three millimeter thick slices. Creating three millimeter thick slices of foam, I have, uh, you know, a lot of material for a lot of rooms. In the past, I used the five seven millimeter thick slices of foam, but actually, it's kind of useless, and you are wasting a lot of uh, storage space in that way. So it's better to use. thin slices. If you don't have a proxon, you can check my tutorial how to cut thin slices of foam without a proxon. Check the link in the description, okay? That's it, beautiful. First, the grid. Doing the single tiles by hand, you have the beautiful effect of uh, tiles that are, you know, hand posed on the floor. Now we will take the board for uh, have some inspiration for the texture. So this is the room. It's uh, beautifully done with some stones, additional stones inside. And we have bones. So let's create this effect. I'm using this as reference. So we have a little stone here. Another stone, another stone here. I have these crunchy times from Green Stuff World. 
I need just a couple of pieces of these bones. Yeah, great. So I will take them off. I will use a piece with some good bones on it. trick here is to put them in a, in a way that they fit perfectly inside the tiles. So, this. just pressing a little bit, now I have the, the shape in pressing the foam. other side I will keep for all my tiles a neutral style because uh, I will use the other side of the tiles for create maxi rooms so they need to have the same texture the same color I will use a neutral gray so all the pieces will have one side that is like hero quest and the other side that is a neutral dungeon tile style let's go This is the first tile, but is already beautiful, guys. And I'm very impressed by the feeling that you have when you grab one of these in your hand, because uh, the wood inside it gives a lot of uh, extra weight to the piece, so it seems really sturdy, really re resistant, and it's beautiful. Now the stairs. So two by two inches. We are gonna create a circle, one inch radius, so, okay. Always measure twice, cut once, guys, it's important. It's not precise, but okay. We don't need a perfect cut, guys, because this is stone, so it's supposed to have some imprecision. You can also use a circle cutter, guys. Nothing is against it, but I like the old way. Old school. Now we have our little slice, we 
back up the first F and then we cut another one half of that so like this that we need. On this side we will finish the 2 by 2 inches stuff. That's one inch cube guys. We need a couple of more steps, maybe one here like this. Okay. We we'll take it by hand. We will also design some bricks and pieces here, nice and clean. And now we need a 2x2 two two platform. So, nice and clean, nice and easy guys, okay. Let's cut this. Let's put some stones. I like the square stones. This kind of stuff. Now we need glue. First piece. Texture. More texture. Okay. So this should be the first one, actually, guys. It's important because you are more precise like this. So now we have the first room, we need uh, some corridors and then for sure the second room. The second room is quite interesting because uh, we have uh, the alchemy desk and then a library. So I will paint those elements, so I will paint also a couple of doors, one open and one closed. Crack on! The second room is this one. As you can see, it's a, it's a very interesting uh, tile pattern. We have some wood, some little rocks. Now back on the texture, we have three rocks here. I'm using some cork. There is also a little chunk of wood. Now we are gonna use a leftover. Yeah, we need a few corridors. 
we will paint doors and stuff. We are gonna start with some corridors. So I have some L pieces. I will put one here. One five by one piece here. And one, one by four here. As you can see, these are all interconnecting with the tiles and also between themselves. Now we have all the pieces for this first section done and ready to be painted. Remember, we will give a you know, black coat on everything. Also, we will uh, paint a couple of doors. Oh, let me check the position. And also the alchemy desk. Yeah, yeah. Remember, for the corridors, you must wait until the end of all your pieces for paint them because uh, you want they to have the same exactly mixture of colors the same way all the other you know sides for all these second sides we are gonna wait because uh, we need them to have the same color for the creation of super rooms now we need to color just one side of these tiles and the stairs of course then the two doors I will also paint a couple of open ones. Crack on! This is just the first episode guys everything must be you know with the same shadows and stuff so the last washes the last dry brushes uh, you need to do at the end 
we need to paint the library, but uh, I will do this in uh, one of the next episodes because there is some rooms with some uh, wardrobes and libraries and stuff. So I will paint all the libraries at once. Okay guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you very like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. Till next time. Happy crafting!